Hi there and welcome back to Triplicate and this video although it is part of the series of video on a radical synthesizer design uh, recently named the heresy it is actually a standalone video on how to generate a multi-threaded application using Embocadro C++ Builder which we need to do uh, for our synthesizer. Now, a quick backstory. Um, I decided to use the, um, the laptop, specifically Windows, for the uh, sound engine of the synthesizer because it represents free processing power. I already have a laptop. Uh, and the C++ Builder is a good user interface. I know it well and it comes with a graphic user interface but we have a problem because we will want to use lots and lots of processor power on the audio um, we will run into a problem which I will now show you okay here we have a small application called thread test and this uh, application is calculating the average of the square roots up to 2 billion. A really pointless thing to want to do but it uses a, a lot of processor power while it's doing it so it's a good example of what we're trying to do. So ignore these two buttons at the bottom. Uh, we have an in main button which when pressed we'll calculate this square root of two billion numbers um, we have a timer which was selected so it looked a bit awkward called timer main and we have a test results main which is just a label so if we look in the code this is the way c++ builder works we have a button in main click so when we click that button, uh, C++ Builder generates some code um, which calls this function. And you can see it counters up, it sums up the square roots. Uh, and we have the timer function. Here's the timer function. Uh, and that is called every... 250 milliseconds I believe um, and every time it's called it tell it prints whether it's stopped or running is this has, uh, sets a flag to, to say it's stopped or running calculates the average and prints it out unless the counter is zero in which case it doesn't because it would be divided by zero so if we fire this up uh, run, run. Okay, so our little timer function is getting called and just counting up. Uh, but our run is stopped and it's not calculating an average. So what happens if we ask it to calculate an average? Well, we click that and it stopped updating our counter and now I can't move the window. In fact, the whole thing has frozen up. If there were any more controls, they wouldn't work either. And after a bit, it will finish calculating 2 billion square roots. Oh, here we go. And it's now printing out the average and I can now move it about enough. And if I'd left that long enough without going back to windows uh, windows would have put not responding on the title bar of our application so if we need to do a lot of processing we cannot do it in any of these functions 
associated with our uh, application user interface because they are all associated with a, th with a thread which is owned by Windows and this will call our little functions when it has something to tell us but it does not like us sitting in these functions for any period so if we want to sit and calculate some audio samples uh, and take up a lot of processor time doing it that is not going to uh, work out so let's see what we do about it uh, now windows is a multi-threaded operating system multitasking multi-threaded so what we want to do that obviously is put our heavy calculations into its own thread where it will happily calculate away and not upset windows now multitasking multi-threading can be quite a complicated thing with mutexes and semaphores and events and critical sections etc etc however M. Bacardero provides us with a simple t-thread class where we can implement a t a thread uh, simply by creating one of these classes so let's have a look how we do it uh, so we simply create a thread test class which is derived from the t-thread class uh, so here we are here's our thread test class which is derived from t-thread t -thread, and all we need to do is provide an execute function uh, and a constructor and these bits and pieces variables are uh, local to the class just for doing our calculation as is the do thread test info function more of which in a minute so let's have a look at this okay so when we create our thread it the our execute function gets called and here it is and you can see it's just counting up the counter and uh, calculating the square root um, but in this case there are some things we need to know firstly terminated this is a mechanism that allows us to terminate the thread uh, early if we don't want it anymore right the next so that is fairly simple but how do we communicate with our main windows thread so we can display what we're doing well uh, i have created in the thread a public new info variable and every time the timer is called you can see at the bottom if the test thread is running uh, it flags the thread that it should generate some new info to display so if the new info is true it immediately sets it false ready for the next flag um, ready for the next time and it calls this synchronize function which takes a pointer to a function as its parameter and here is this function this is a way you can call um, functions in the main form and what will do what will happen is the thread will stop till it's safe to do so uh, so it needs to be used carefully so here <coughs> here it's calling main forms update thread info function which uh, just prints out whether the threads running and the counter and the values simple as that and all we need to do to get our new thread going is create a thread test object like that so shall we have a look and see what that does okay so as well as our in main button we have an in thread button and if we click that come on uh, you can see every timer it's counting the timer and every time it is printing out uh, the current 
count and the current the average of the square roots we don't care <laughs> and off it goes and we can still move our window about nicely and it gets up to 2 billion and it stops so there it is that's that works nicely okay so that's a synchronized function which must be used if we are calling functions like this that update that call any uh, windows functions which that is effectively calling a windows function to redraw the caption however you will notice that the new info variable um, I'm calling setting that from the main function from the timer and I am clearing it in the, th the other thread so that variable is accessed from two threads now that is potentially dangerous and I would be a bit wary of that if I was actually writing commercial software here however uh, this is just a bit of a hack to get us going to make some sounds so while it doesn't cause any problems I'm going to persevere with that approach just for setting variables I mean that is a variable a boolean variable which is set to true in the main thread and tested and cleared in this thread so the chances are almost certain that we will get away with that but we may not <laughs> and if it suddenly if it runs for 20 minutes and then suddenly crashes then that's the kind of approach that can call that which is all cause that which is always the problem using multi-threaded uh, applications and that you never know what is timed with what I mean the same goes for using interrupts in embedded applications or using two processors talking to each other you can get one one little circumstance where the synchronize the synchronization between them causes a problem and you can spend weeks and weeks trying to solve it However, that is just a brief introduction to uh, using the tthread class in C++ Builder to generate, to create um, new threads. And according to the data sheet, I've never done it, you can generate, create as many threads as you want like that. Um, I'll let you play with that one. Okay, so that's it. Just a little uh, video by way of a, a tutorial on how to set up the uh, C++ Builder tthread class and use it. Um, I shall now go back to heresy specific stuff and start to build the heresy code in the uh, in Windows uh, which I think will be probably be the next video I put out. Uh, I will put a link down to the code uh, I've created just for this little test application so you can sort of use it as the basis of your own applications if you wish um, and that is about it for this video so um, until the next one it's goodbye from triplicate goodbye <laughs>